Hi, this is Bill Clinton. Please join me on my podcast, Why Am I Telling You This? Now, why am I telling you this? Now, why am I telling you this? For conversations with some of the most fascinating people I know. We'll talk about ideas that deserve more attention, about how science, technology, and design are improving our lives, and about why we should be hopeful and optimistic about our future. Listen to Why Am I Telling You This on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Coming up at the top of the hour, right about four minutes after, it's today's Strawberry Letter. The subject, my husband is an embarrassing butthead. Hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, we all heard that. <laughs> I love this. My <laughs> husband is an embarrassing butthead. But right now, the nephew is here with today's prank phone call. What you got, Neff? We are going to garnish your wages. Garnish your wages. <sighs> Ever had your wages garnished, Unc? Yep. I used to think that was like garnish was putting something on it like, never mind. Yeah, they put some on it. Yeah, they put some on it. It'd be garnished. Yeah, it'd be a deduction on it. Yeah, it'd be something on your check. It's called a deduction. Your check don't look the same, <laughs> and it's shocking too. Oh man! Do they take all of it, dog, or just some of it? No, nah, they get whatever they want. <laughs> I mean, they may it. leave you something. Okay. Everybody I, quiet behind this prank. Yeah. yeah. You well, you try to hear them get down there with that money after you get garnished. Yeah. <laughs> Lord, All right, cat. let's run it. Garnish your wages. Hello. I'm trying to reach a uh, place. Mess who's calling? My name is uh, from the district attorney's office. Yes. Uh, hi, how are you? Uh, giving you a call today, ma'am. I'm trying to get some updates from you. Your husband, Mr. Is he uh, still not working at this point? No, sir. Okay. Uh, how long has he been out of work so far, ma'am? Could you could you give me an update on this? First of the year, January. Okay. All right, here's what we're having, the problems that we're having. You have a son, um, I think it's, uh, his name is as well, 14 years old, am I right? Mm-hmm. Okay, the child support is not being paid from uh, Mr. for the uh, for Mr. Young, and then we're trying to get this thing rectified. Now, the problem that we're going to have and the reason why we're giving you a call is considering that your husband hasn't worked since the first of the year, and I haven't done the research yet, I'm just mm-hmm. not... I'm just now pulling up your file. I haven't done the research to see how many months in the rears he is on child support. But... It, it just started once um, he lost his job. Okay. Well, <clears throat> the problem that we're, we're going to have is they're going to start taking uh, child support, actually, uh, and, and I hate to give you this news, out of your check until— I don't, I don't understand how that's so because I have my own kids. So I, I don't understand that. I understand, but they're going to be garnishing your check, ma'am. Uh, until this, until your husband can get this thing back on his feet and get it rectified and get him uh, up to par as far as all the payments that are hurt, that are not. And there. when will this be taking place? Because if that's the case, I'm not going to be working. Because <laughs> that's not going to happen. I have my own children, so I don't understand how is that for so. I don't, I don't have anything to do with child support or anything like that. And if that's the case, I'm not going to be working as of right now. The garnishing of the check is going to come from you, and you are at the hospital, correct? No. That's not. That's not where you work. I don't. I'm not going to be working as of right now. <laughs> that's what I just told you. So y'all do whatever you got to do, and I will do whatever I have to do on my end. Okay. Well, well, hold on. A minute. You're willing to quit your job? I'm not understanding this. this... You're sure right because I'm, I'm not going to be taking care of someone else's kids, and I have my own. So how? That's right. So somebody else can take care of my eyes then. Because I'm not going to be doing it. You're so right. All right. Well, I mean, I'm just, you know, don't, I don't want you to who, be upset with me. Who are with, you? I, I don't to, want you to be I upset with me. I need can be able to contact you. Okay. You, you know, I'm going to I'm going to let you know this. It's a bit of information. You're mm-hmm. still going to, if, if you're quitting your job, ma'am, you guys are still going to be liable for the child support. Okay. Well, that's fine. Not you guys, because it's not my children, sir. Okay, it's not you guys. It's he will be liable. Okay, gonna... okay? because I don't. I mean, can I step? Can you hold one moment? Because I need to step outside. If that's okay, or if there's a number, I can contact you back. Okay, are you able to step outside right now? Um, yes, but I'm gonna get on the elevator and it's gonna kind of throw the call off. Okay, let's do this. Why don't you step outside? And, and I'll wait for you to call. Give me about forty-five seconds, but I'm gonna give a call to my manager on this situation. Okay? Please do, sir. Okay. Uh, all right. Thank, thank you. Uh-huh. Hello. Okay, Miss. 
Yes, sir. Hi, again from the district okay. attorney's office. Okay, you can hear me now. Yes, I can. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am, I sure can. Now, let's get to the bottom of everything. I couldn't get my manager on the phone, but uh -huh. uh, I'll keep trying. I just want to know. Um, I mean, that, that's, I'm just a mess I messenger mean, letting you know. You know. I, hate, I know you are, and I hate to be so short with you, but I don't understand because we're not even getting enough income coming in as of right now. And you're speaking of, I have three children that I'm struggling to take care of on my own. And find somebody from the district or something. But, um, and you're speaking of that you're going to be deducting money from going to share my check for his child support. What's your sir? something? What's your name? Man, who's is, is there someone else I need to speak with? No, we're on the phone. I, I have that's my sister taking care of some business. What part of district attorney county, ma'am? Yeah, she is on the line from the office of child support service. She works with the office of child support service. Okay, okay. may I speak with your sister? Let, si me, let me speak with your help. sister, okay. ma'am. So what do you, I mean, how is this going to be done? Because that's not going to leave me the cash to be able to support my own kids. Well, you know, I mean, in my own home. I, I understand that. You know, maybe this is a problem with having a person hanging around. It's you not know? a person because has raised his feet about his kids all their life. This is a jealous mother that decided after 18 years that she wanted to. Uh, oh, what, in the, what in the hell is going on with those people in the background? Hello? This nephew Tommy, it didn't hit the fan. She went off. No, nah, I couldn't get her to go out, but her sister was there. Don't say nothing to him, made her get off the phone. So I need you to call on three ways. They was calling somebody. They probably was calling downtown, gonna get themselves in mo trouble. Okay, hold on a minute. You down here? I call you back, honey. What's wrong? I'll call you back, honey. I'll tell you about it on the No, you won't. You're gonna talk to her right now. Who the f Who is this? I told you you're gonna pay this child support, not me. Get your life. Get the best way you can. He's talking to me, call me. I'm gonna pay this child for you. Pay it. Oh, you're gonna make me, you're gonna make me, you're gonna make me whip your behind this money. Tell him you will find out who he is. You wanna, you wanna talk to my lawyer, sir? Yeah, I wanna. Where is your, you don't have a lawyer. You know, well, you don't have one. Why don't y'all, whoever, however you got my number, behind This is some process they have to go through for your job. We have to go to court first. Who is this? This nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Yo, just got <laughs> pranked by my baby. I'm a, I'm a cut y'all. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna come on the radio because I y'all gonna pay for this. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna come on the radio. <laughs> I gotta ask, I gotta ask all y'all something. What is the baddest radio show in the land? See? <laughs> and there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Pranks. Again, we're all yeah. quiet. Yeah, just, yes, no, yes, it's you, not even you funny. shut the room down with that one. <laughs> hey, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. You know, this past weekend, my my youngest son, Jordan. We had his birthday. He, he turned eight years old. Aww. Okay, happy birthday! Eight what years a great old. kid he is. Yeah. His birthday party in the backyard, and one of the little kids asked, "So, what does your daddy do? He play on the phone? What? <laughs> Why did you tell him that? <laughs> he play on the phone? <laughs> <laughs> That's what Jordan <laughs> told his friend. Yeah. <laughs> That's all. What does your dad daddy do? do? <laughs> My dad plays on the phone. <laughs> Tommy. Steve, are you hearing this? Tommy. Tommy. <laughs> Tommy. <laughs> Tommy. Yeah. Tommy, that's that's exactly what you do. <laughs> Jordan's right. His daddy play on the phone. You know how many times them people have told you you play too damn much? Well? Uh -huh. <laughs> I say it every day. Uh -huh. Jordan ate and I already figured out my daddy play on the phone. Somebody going to hurt my dad. He know. I don't want him to because I love my father, but somebody going to hurt my daddy. Then I'm going to have to grow up and seek revenge. Oh, goodness. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you, nephew. Up next, it is my strawberry letter for today. The subject, my husband is an embarrassing butthead. We'll get into it right after this.